Hi folks, I'm Sean and today we're going to be talking about these two big massive machines here. The Batch 1 from Twister and the Dry Batch Trimmer Model 4 from Centurion Pro. Uh, this is part of Centurion Pro's brand new line of Dry Batch Trimmers. This is the second from the top. There's a Model 5 which is basically two of these. Um, and then there's obviously three, two, one. So just a disclaimer before we get into things, we, we just ran both these machines very recently and we figured this is a great time to do the comparison videos. So please excuse the bit of uh, dirt that's left over and they, they, need a, they need a good washing, but we figured we'll do this now before we forget. So uh, let's get right into it and we'll talk about the tumblers of these machines because that's the heart of them. Um, on the batch one, it's about uh, 19 and a half inches diameter for the opening and it's, it's just under five feet, it's 59 inches long. Um, it's, pretty, it's a pretty big machine. Not quite as big as this though. The Centurion Pro is 66 inches long and 20, around 20, 21 inches uh, diameter. So the, obviously with the bigger tumbler, that's, that's great. You can fit about 20% more flowers inside the Centurion Pro than you can to the batch one. So building on top of what we just discussed about the tumblers, that this can hold about 20% more, this will also do, it has a throughput of about 108 pounds per hour, and this has got a throughput of about 88 pounds per hour. Uh, so that means there is, again, that's about 20%. That's a significant amount more throughput that you get from the Centurion Pro Model 4. So the big advantage of having the speed controller that comes with the Centurion Pro is that depending on your strain and depending on how dry the product is, you've got so many possibilities of, of time and tumbler speed. So we can set it to, if you want to run it for 10 minutes, you can, and then you can come and adjust the speed. If you think it's going too quick, you can back it off or you can speed it up even if you want to. It's, it's amazing, the possibilities it gives you. So considering that, the, that Centurion Pro are offering the speed control on almost all of their dry batch trimmer models, it, um, it's kind of confusing why ba the batch one does, doesn't have a speed control. It does have a timer, but the advantages of having a speed control are, are so large that it's a pity that this machine doesn't have it. But I do have to give it some props. It is a, it is a very clean, cool looking machine. Um, it, it has uh, LED strip lighting on the inside so that you can see your trim a lot better. Um, it's just a pity about the speed controller. So I mentioned it in a previous video uh, when we were talking about the Centurion Pro dry batch trimmer model one, but this model four has it as well. It's something called soft tumble technology and it's when inside the tumbler it creates a even pressure the whole way around on the flower. So it really is trying to replicate that uh, hand trim quality. This is something that craft growers will really love. They really want that hand trimmed quality. So just like Triminator, Centurion Pro for an additional cost offer a keep screen uh, system. This one is uh, $2,000 extra. So as you can see, it's, a pretty, it's pretty big. I'm not very tall, but it's, it's almost the same size as me. So what, what you would do is once you finished your trim, you take all your trim product away and then you take the, the, the what fell out down the bottom, the, the trim and the keef, and then you put that inside here, and this will separate the trim and the fine keef, and it's almost zero waste. So like I said, it's a, an additional $2,000 to get the keef screen, um, but if, when you do have that, it just turns this machine into like an all-in-one. There's gonna be very little waste at the end. Again, unfortunately, the, the batch one does not come with this option of uh, a keef screen, but you never know. Now that Centurion Pro are doing it and Tr Triminator are doing it, maybe they'll come out with something in the future. Both these machines, they do come with two food grade bins underneath. As you can see in the batch one, we were using it recently uh, the, with a bit of trim still left inside it. Uh, one thing I'll say about the batch one that the Centurion Pro does a little bit better is that there's a big gap here in the middle um, where on the inside, like your material does build up there. And there is a small gap on this, but it's a lot smaller. And even though you can, you can tilt these back and forth, there's a five way adjustable here. I think it's three on this. That will get rid of most of it. It's still just a pain that it does build up in the middle. So another advantage that the Centurion Pro seems to have is that this is a three year warranty as opposed to the batch one, it's only a one year warranty. And I think that that's going to influence uh, our next point, which is the price of these two machines. So the batch one's price is 22,900, 
and the Centurion Pro's price is 19,800. So this is below 20 grand and this is just above 20 grand. So for me, in conclusion, uh, it's a bit of a no-brainer to go with the Centurion Pro. It's, it just has too many advantages over the Batch 1. The Batch 1 looks really great and everything, but you can get more throughput through this, about 20% more. It has a bigger tumbler. It's got the speed controller, so you can get that, you can really dial in the way you want your trim to be. And then if you did want to go for the optional uh, $2,000 for the key screen, you're still coming in at, at a lower price than the Batch 1. Big thank you to John Growers for helping out with this video. Um, we'll have more videos coming down the line, so stay tuned. Take it easy, see you later, have a good one.